and one of the interesting ceramic artists who are now represented here is René Fontaine. Very beautiful four lamps are presented and it is a design that is dedicated to Mickey Mouse. It is clear that it can't live in every interior, but there is a lot of beautiful glass here, both classic and modern. The best designers of the era worked with Baccarat. Friends, Today we are going to have an unusual review because so lucky I met a great decorator of our present Maxim Langev. Hi Maxim. Hi. It is very nice to see you in Paris. Maxim is in various rankings. AD Top 100, best decorators of the era according to Elle magazine. And he knows Paris and its galleries very well, much better than I do. So I pass the floor to you Maxim. We are standing in front of the Mac Gallery, and it is a very interesting gallery with its history. I recommend reading about it and studying it more closely. For designers and decorators, there are always a lot of useful things, because in addition to the fact that there is a really high art here, the first room is always devoted to posters. The Mac Gallery stands on the foundation of the printing house, and because of that, it was well promoted and helped a lot of artists in its time. And they have really accumulated a lot of that they can now reproduce. It's inexpensive, and it's always useful to close some places sometimes. I really love coming into this store. On the ground floor of Prince Jardinier, everything is for gardeners. Trowels, secateurs, some interesting watering cans, and so on and so forth. On the first floor, it's a bit contradictory, but nevertheless very interesting. Everything is related to taxidermy. And not only that, there are a lot of interesting decorative solutions. Interior and object designer Michel Lamar. Take note if you are looking for a designer. We just visited Michel Lamar, and right next door there is a workshop where they make all his stone works for him. Accordingly, not only for him, there is an exhibition of another designer here right now. Now we are going to visit a gallery where an exhibition of an American ceramist opened yesterday. There are very beautiful things there. You will be stunned. Wonderful American ceramist Maxwell Mastardo. I have been following his works for a long time and this season, for the first time in Paris, there is an exhibition of his works. The vases have a very interesting texture. They are a little soft but not all in a row, of course, and for example, here is a work one and a half meters high, over the salt, so hurry up, this one is going for 20,000 euros. This season, Obumex from Belgium came to Rue de Lille in Paris, they are gods in kitchens and stone. We are at the beautiful Mac Gallery. Here are the owners. Charles is the author of many of the works on display here. It's always a beautiful mix of art, antiques and contemporary. Another very interesting gallery, Moujon, is owned by a family that makes their own ceramics 
and sells other artists as well. And one of the interesting ceramic artists who are now represented here is Reni Fontaine. Very beautiful four lamps are presented in the newly opened Hotel Samaritan and orders were made especially for the houses of Dior and Chanel. Another interesting gallery, Jean Minassian, has a very extravagant design. I really like the ceramics that is represented here, it's Peter Lane. The ceramic wall has an interesting creation process where a large number of his studio workers climb right onto this ceramic panel, piece it with their fingers, do something else with it, and then it's just sliced like a cake and fired. The bright mirror tables are Venetian mirrors, and Chan uses a lot of these kinds of cultural compounds. Murano glass, Venetian mirrors, absolutely top of the line. We are in Laura Gonzalez gallery, and here, of course, is a funny moment. The tables are already set, so we are waiting for the guests. I think there is a perfect story to hang your pasta on the wall. You can exaggerate and put 10, 15, 20 plates at a time. What a beautiful base that Daybed has, ceramic with the doggy. Do you know what this is called? It's called a trillage, a trickery technique. But it's not what we just discussed. It's not a trompe. Paris is beautiful, with courtyards where there's always incredible potential. There's a whole bunch of workshops in this courtyard where something is being restored, something is being composed, and one of the galleries that relates to the restoration part has interesting pieces, lamps, and at the same time an interesting collaboration with Dutch designers that is worth of attention. One of my favorite galleries, Stéphane Olivier, has everything that fits perfectly with the garden, I think. For example, this chandelier is here. The owner lives in the suburbs of Paris. He has some kind of divine garden that he talks about all the time. And he brings flowers from his garden here all the time. This is a French artist. His name is Édouard Chevalier. Édouard Chevalier. Yes, and he has just uh, yes, produced yes, yes. Uh, two mirrors. And uh, uh, what's the price for the mirror? The pair is uh, 18,000 euros. 18,000. It's impossible to find this artist somewhere on the internet. He's just not there. And that's it. No social network, nothing. So he's so authentic in his own way. And you can see it on the website. You uh -huh. will find it in the artist section. Édouard Chevalier. What do you think about this? It's controversial, but a lot of things are interesting. What did you like about it? I liked the blue mirror the most, what I can say. How do you feel about video art? I don't have a straightforward attitude toward video art. I can't say that it's obvious art to me. Speaking of which, this gallery often hosts some incredibly beautiful exhibitions. So you should always keep in mind that you should come here and check it out. If you ask me what has changed in trends, I will tell you that nothing has changed. Beautiful things are still in fashion, as always. Well, friends, let's thank Maxim for his opinion. In fact, it's always very interesting to see such events through the eyes of a professional and just compare opinions and visions. 
because of course we all see things a bit differently. If you liked this format then comment below and I will try to invite someone else to keep me company next time to review some design events. Of course we didn't get around to everything, I'll add a couple more highlights from me. We passed into the showroom of India Madavi. This is a designer who has received in the last few years great recognition and great popularity. And one project is presented in her gallery, you can say a mono project, together with the company Gebruder Tonet Vienna. And it is a design that is dedicated to Mickey Mouse. It is clear that it can't live in every interior, but nevertheless, this is what draws attention to itself. It is a surprisingly trendy selection of colors. You can take a screenshot and understand that these are trendy colors of the season 2023 and I think that 2024 as well. Of course, I couldn't pass by the Italian corner. I do it absolutely deliberately when I am in Paris simply because the French approach to decorating and the Italian one are very different and the same brands look completely different in Italy, in Milan and in Paris. Here Cartel, for example. You can compare a couple of shots I've shown you from Milan and see how they look here. These are more muted, more delicate colors. I wouldn't say they are more elegant, they are just different, just a different presentation. All the models that we recognize look completely other way and depending on the context everything looks different. So it's worth paying attention to that as well, because after all we are always oriented more towards the Italian school of decoration and the French one, less towards English, American or some Scandinavian. I also went to the casino showroom. I can't deny myself the pleasure of admiring these icons of design, which Casino has been collecting for 50 years. And this year is the 50th anniversary of the collection in Maestri. And for this event a large number of these items were reissued, including the Monta tables by Charlotte Pirian, the Doge Laguna table by Carlos Carpa, and the entire Corbusier line. Marlunga 50, made in color of the socks of the great Vico Magistretti, is to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the model, which coincides with the 50th anniversary of the Imaestre collection. As you know, Casino does not stand still, it releases new models, and of course Patricia Urchiola makes a great effort to do so. This year the Moncloud sofa was presented. You can see all the other masters in detail in my reviews from Milan. The link will be in the description, be sure to take a look. But this isn't the final, so stay tuned for now. And now friends, we are in the location of the highest luxury thanks to Maxim Languev. A few words about this wonderful brand, which is known to almost everyone, I'm sure. We are at Maison Bacara, and that says it all. There is a lot of beautiful glass here, both classic and modern. The best designers of the era worked with Baccarat, Philip Stark, Jaime Ayon and many others. And Maxim worked, by the way, so you know the level of our TV program today. There is a lot of glitter, a lot of crystal and a lot of reflections because everywhere is glass and mirrors. It's all very beautiful and in different styles. And it's a beautiful evening here tonight. So we bid you farewell. I hope you enjoyed our pair to review today. You stay tuned because tomorrow we are off to the Maison Objet show. So be sure to subscribe if you weren't already. And of course, thank us with a fat like and write us something nice. That's all for now.